As it turns out, Goblin Slayer has another talent outside of slaughtering goblins. He's a real killer with the ladies. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. I hope you're ready for a rat smashing good time because that's exactly what you're going to get in another awesome, ridiculous, and super gory episode of Goblin Slayer, an episode which, I have to be perfectly honest with you guys, felt kind of like a filler episode, or a glorified setup for the next major arc of the series. What this episode did do a great job of, though, was actually showing that despite the fact that Goblin Slayer can be incredibly oppressive and violent, it can also be really funny, too, and this was an episode that showed what happened to Goblin Slayer when he goes about his normal day. I'm also going to go ahead and say that this review is going to be immensely short because I am running low on time, and I just want to make sure that I could get my thoughts about this episode, so I apologize. There will be no imagery from the actual show. We'll get back to the, uh, the regular way of doing things in the next review. But this episode right here, like I said, was sort of a dive into Goblin Slayer's everyday life as he goes around the village, running into people and getting to all sorts of shenanigans. They even managed to introduce some brand new characters in this episode. These two adventurers who may or may not be brother and sister and may or may not actually be a couple. And I'm not really sure why they introduced them. I don't know why they're important. But their overall story involves them going underground and fighting against giant rats and roaches. Because... Let's face it, this is all just some sort of weird pseudo-video game RPG world. And this one boy ends up losing his sword in the sewers, and they seek the advice of Goblin Slayer, learning how they can get it back. Goblin Slayer, of course, his only advice always involves goblins. Just kill one of them and take one of their weapons. But if that's not an option, grab yourself a club, go down in the sewers, and have a good fun time playing some whack-a-mole with some giant freaky-ass rats. And that's exactly what they do. Why this is here is kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Maybe they're just trying to show us how this world works and how these people interact with it. Maybe these two are going to end up being more important later on. All I know is it led to a random scene of a kid just violently killing a giant cockroach with a club. So if that's sort of your thing, I guess you're going to like this episode. My favorite subplot of this episode, however, was all about Goblin Sayer and how despite the fact that he's a very stoic, dark, and creepy individual, the ladies just absolutely love him. If it's not the priestess or the cowgirl or even the the High Elf Archer, it has to be the Guild Girl herself, the one who's appeared since the beginning of the series, who runs the entire guild and the shop, and she's also there to do evaluations on brand new adventures to declare if they're going to get an upgrade, or if they're going to go back down to the porcelain level of toilets. Yes, there's a reason that they're called porcelain level, it's because they're really shitty. What's really funny about Guild Girl is that she's absolutely head over heels in love with Goblin Slayer. I don't know, he's not exactly a knight in shining armor because one, his armor's all dented and covered in goblin guts. But yeah, she seems to be really obsessed with him and she actually asks him to be an observer where they're actually going to look over an adventure and evaluate if he's actually going to be able to level up. And this one asshole who comes in strutting his stuff never ends up getting promoted and that's because he ended up stealing a lot of treasure from his friends and that does not sit well with the guild girl. Goblin Slayer even agrees, saying that betraying his friends was not something that an adventurer should do. So remember, when the guy who goes around into caves by himself killing goblins just for the fun of it takes you down on a moral compass, that's a real hard burn. And that is basically the episode. Aside from a throwaway scene where the lizard priest gets to finally have some cheese again, that's basically about it. But they are setting up the next episode where it looks like Goblin Slayer is being summoned by some magic ancient warrior who goes by the name of the Sword Maiden. She's basically a really badass nun with a sword with scales on them. You have to see it for yourself. Basically, she's the judge, jury, and executioner. I wonder how important she's going to be to the story. It is implied that she's one of these legendary heroes which took down this demon lord, but that's just hearsay. We'll have to find out in the next episode. This was a pretty decent episode of Goblin Slayer, I do have to say. Uh, despite the fact that it didn't really advance the plot all that much, it really gave us a nice glimpse into this world and how bleak things can actually be, despite the fact that there is something of a cheery exterior to a lot of these characters, especially the females, who again, I, I don't know what they see in Goblin Slayer, they can't even see his face. It is funny, however, and honestly, an episode like this is kind of necessary in a super dark fantasy show right here because things can get really mired and bogged down in all of the blood and guts and violence so I really appreciate that the series can actually take its time to sort of laugh at itself and give us a pretty you know 
regular levity filled episode. So I'm giving this one right here a 4 out of 5. Another entertaining episode of Goblin Slayer, which again, I wish they would have devoted an episode more to the story, but honestly, I did get some entertainment value out of this one. And oddly enough, this is probably the first episode where a goblin didn't get killed. Bravo! So that's my thoughts on this episode right here. I'd love to hear yours. You can tell me in the comment section below and what you hope to see from the rest of Goblin Slayer. I'll see you all next time. And as always, stay down now, baby.